Hey guys, I'm so excited to have you back today to share with you this amazing makeover video. It also has a lot of really cool DIY ideas for you so that you can do a wine room in your house too. I hope you stick around to the end. I'm going to share with you my favorite portion of the video and also you'll get to see the big reveal at the end. So starting off with the green walls and the beige towel I really wanted to take this room and give it a little bit more of a stone cellar feel and I did that by painting the walls and also putting in this stone towel now this stone towel is actually really light I got this from Lowe's it's called Airstone, and so we put this in as almost a backsplash for the back of these two walls and it really changes the look and the feeling of this area to be more like a stone cellar this was a big transformation that it gets something that was just easy to do just apply right over even what was existing already there I didn't even rip it out and it really turned out nice Now to add some more character to the room, I went ahead and collected uh, wine box shelves. And so I found these at different wineries or even for sale at wine stores. Just asking them if they had leftover that I may purchase from them or even have. For the most part, they would just give them to me. Um, some of them I did pay for, but maybe like five bucks for a box. It was really nothing. And then I added them to the wall here in different configurations to give a shelving effect that was really nice for putting our wine bottle displays in. This turned out really nicely and I'll show you in a little bit later in the video of how to style this shelving to make it really functional for your wine room. This next DIY is completely unique and this is made with just the bottoms of wine bottles and this is a scarf rack from Ikea. And so what I did was take uh, wine bottles on a wet towel saw and I just cut the bottoms of these bottles off. Now then I took a little bit of a drill and drilled a small hole in the top and wired those into each individual scarf outlet. This turns out to be a similar effect to, of a stained glass window and man does this really add a beautiful touch to the window. Because you have to imagine in a wine room you do want it to be a little bit darker because the light as it shines through the window can degrade your wine. So instead of putting the window treatments on I opted for this option and now it has this beautiful effect when the sunlight shines through. It puts this nice cast of different colors on the wall. It's really a very nice touch and this you know as I said was made with an IKEA scarf shelf rack which is pretty cool I hope they see if you want to try out this DIY please let me know I would love to see your results so just a little um, side note for you as I enjoy a, a glass of wine this intermission um, Vino Memoirs is a wine journal that I wrote um, and it's really a uh, fun book that has a beautiful um, display area for your wine labels and a ways to record different wines that you've tasted and memories uh, with the people that you share them with so I just put that in here I wanted you to check it out if you are interested or looking for a wine journal I'll put the link in the description below you can take a look at that it's obviously something I'm very proud of and um, it, it complements the wine beautifully Now wait until you see this DIY cork ceiling. This really turned out amazing. And you know, to cut the corks in half, I actually just set them up on this little table saw that had just a little small space um, that we uh, clamped on there and just slid the corks right through. And that was actually easy enough to do, but you just wanna make sure that you have a broom handle or something to protect your fingers. And then you go ahead and you wanna put somewhat of a grid on your ceiling 
so that you can have as a, as a base just something to work off of so that when you're putting up the corks you can try to keep them in a straight line or however you're placing them um, in order I did mine two upright and two sideways in, in a pattern and I cover the entire ceiling like that and it just honestly the way it looks afterwards is so incredible it took a long time but it is absolutely stunning it's very unique something that you would not see in any other wine room now other than mine and maybe yours if you decide to tr give it a try and uh, it just is really a showstopper now going back through to those shelves that I was telling you about I wanted to give you a couple tips here now wine should be stored on its side so wine that you want to keep um, for a long period of time you want to go ahead and store that on its side wine that you plan on drinking um, a little bit faster or wine that you plan on never drinking um, some of the wine that I have here like for example these are um, bottles that have wine that we made for my wedding um, I won't I would never drink them so it's okay to have them on display there um, those are those are okay to have stored upright but you know just keep in mind that wine is meant to be stored on its side it keeps the cork moist and that prevents the air from getting in from the cork drying out and potentially spoiling your wine so for me, I have wine displayed here on special places that I've been and wine that I don't plan on uh, drinking as quickly. You'll see there's a lot of Biltmore wine. I do recommend the Biltmore Mansion if you've never been there. It's a very special place to me, so I, I have a lot of wine from there and I don't plan on drinking a majority of it. But I do would say that the wine is, is fabulous if you ever wanted to give that a try. Another thing that I have in my wine room is these memory shadow boxes that I keep the corks from different places, different events, special things in our life and I write the dates and the times on those corks. So I have corks in here for the f past 15 years from different things, weddings, anniversaries, special things. So it's something um, fun to do. And then of course adding lighting guys. So I add a little bit of up lighting here just to have that rainbow effect to shine on that ceiling that you just created. And it really adds that extra layer of elegance to the room, especially in the evening. And here is the final look of this room. I'm so happy with the way it turned out. It is really a special place now in our home. And so it went from something simple and maybe a little bit bland to just something that's an absolute showstopper and adds so much value to our home. And this is easy, guys. This is something that you can do too. Um, it doesn't take a lot of, um, you know, special skill set. This is absolutely something that you can create. And I would love to see your results. Let me uh, in on them if you do um, on my Instagram account. I'd love to see your pictures or your videos. And if you have any questions for me on any of the supplies or any of the things that I did here, please leave a question in the comments below and I will get back to you on and try to help you in any way I can. So also, of course, if you enjoyed this, give me a thumbs up, you know, give me a like. And I hope that you enjoy this wine room makeover and that you enjoy a beautiful wine room at your home too. Thanks for stopping by, guys. I'll see you next time.